Brandon Graham, the winner of the first Muscle Meds Train with Kai contest, is quickly learning that a Kai Green training session is even more difficult than he imagined. After 12 minutes of mental preparation on the treadmill, a 20-minute abdominal session, yoga-style stretching, and five sets of hip adduction glute work, Kai is finally ready to take Brandon out on the floor and kick the workout into high gear. When the winner of the Train with Kai essay contest received a notification that he had been chosen, the reality of it didn't sink in at first. You know, I love, you know, all of Kai's videos, love the Overkill DVDs. Watch, I mean, watch those. I can't even, I can't even count that. I don't think how many times I watched them. You know, it'd be a dream come true to train with Kai. The way that he looks at things, I, I wanted to have a, you know, a first-hand experience with him. But it did not hit me that I was going to be training with, you know, the Kai Green until, you know, last night when I was laying in bed really thinking about it, you know. Here in, you know, here, here in nine hours, I'm going to be working out with one of the best bodybuilders in the world. We just got finished doing that, that abduction movement over there, that abduction movement. The idea, you're in, you open, but now when you're opening, what you're doing is, is you're pulling your pelvis underneath you, you're pushing it forward. And as you push it forward, you're flexing your glutes and using it to kind of straighten, straighten your knees, you're pushing your pelvis forward. What, you, what I want you to do is to try to take that and add it to everything related to a bent knee position. Now it's, it's kind of interesting because in this, you know, at some point your knee is no longer bent and it can be difficult, I guess, um, to imagine still trying to contract your glute by, if you, if you can see me from the side, trying to, I'm gonna hold on to this, but trying to still pull that knee out as you rise. You're, you're pulling that knee out, you're trying to flex your hamstring and make your glute responsible for this, and you lower it back down. It probably doesn't look exactly like that while you're doing it. This is an exaggeration of that. But now, when I'm here, underneath the, the resistance and as I step up, it may become harder to see that, you know, but that's really what's happening. I'm still trying to be, be mindful of my glute and trying to recognize that my glute is pulling on my femur and trying to pull it out while at the same time down as I'm contracting. A lot of people would probably sooner use this movement to address their quads. And if, you, if you're not sharp with your mind-muscle connection, it will very easily go there. It is by my, my, the choice, my deliberate choice, that it ends up going where I tell it to go. The contraction, the contractile effort, even though my quad is gonna work to some degree, but the maximum of my contractile effort consciously is going to my glute and my hamstring. Pre-contest and even in the off-season, if I'm doing this movement, I'm not doing it with a loaded bar, 225, 315, all the, all the things I would have done when I was younger and not as informed. That stuff looks good in the, in the, on the cameras and stuff, but... This is an important point. Lifting heavy is a big part of bodybuilding. As we have seen in the past, Kai is no stranger to the heavy iron. But many young bodybuilders can be led by the magazines and videos to think that big weights are all there is to it. The reality is that many times the heavy weight sessions are staged for the cameras, and the real work is done with moderate to low weights much of the time. This is Kai's morning workout. More than heavy lifting, a full body training session like this engorges the muscles with blood while sparing the joints. It speeds nutrients to the cells, lubricates tendons, strengthens ligaments, and whisks toxins away. Later in the day, or the following day, Kai's body will be better prepared to withstand the brutality that heavyweight training entails. As hard as you might think you train, 
A full body workout like this can reveal weaknesses in endurance, which can hold you back in ways you may not realize. I think Brandon is discovering that there are major gaps in his training. Right around the point when, um, when we were doing the wide grip pull-ups and supersetting them with dips, chest dips. But right around, it was right around then, I started really feeling it, you know, because it was just back to back to back exercises. Notice how Kai, though working up a healthy sweat, is relatively unfazed by the training session. Even in the off-season, he maintains a level of conditioning far above the average bodybuilder. Many bodybuilders love to throw around heavy weights in the gym. It's fun and an ego boost. But it is only by striking a balance between the poundages and perfecting the body mechanics that true mastery of this sport is attained. Several times during the training, Kai is approached by fans who want to say hi or take pictures. It's all part of being one of the most recognizable figures in bodybuilding. Kai is always gracious. He doesn't turn anyone down. And I think that Brandon is becoming increasingly grateful for the breaks. But these interruptions don't last long, and Kai quickly returns to his relentless pace. So here we are about an hour into the workout. We've hit all the major body parts, including two exercises for calves, which I haven't even shown you because of time constraints. And it's not nearly over yet. In the beginning, it was as if Kai was testing to see if he could push Brandon hard. And now it seems he is seeing just how hard he can push Eight. him. Come on. Nine. Good job. Let's go. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Come on. Fourteen. Come on. Fifteen. Good job. We came here to Metro Fitness to perform a kind of media event for muscle meds. But as this session wears on, my documentary instincts kick in as what is happening here in Columbus becomes real. Brandon is clearly beyond any point of exhaustion he had expected. And what was initially going to be a fun time with one of his heroes has become a test of his heart and spirit. Good job. There is just absolutely no way that anybody could ever prepare themselves. No way. Because I was, I mean, I was ready. I was more than ready to work out with you know, Kai. But without experiencing it before and really going through that, I don't see how anyone could be prepared for that. I was so tired at the end. You just stand up. Come on. Keep going. Like, I can't even talk right now. I did feel kind of like I wanted to give up for just a split second, but I knew just from what Kai had told me 
give it every last bit of effort because if not, you know, you're going to regret it at the end. The camera almost had really nothing to do with it. I mean, I thought that it would, you know, a couple of days ago, you know, I was thinking, you know, yeah, I mean, that's going to be more motivation knowing that, you know, hundreds of thousands or millions of people are going to be watching me, you know, on the internet when they buy the DVD. And, you know, I'm next to Kai Green, you know, I got to look good. But really it was, you know, the things that Kai was saying to me, just the little things, you know, that, you know, really helped motivate me and stuff. Come on, Evan. Every rep, even that last rep, I mean, I was lightheaded, exhausted, sweat running off my face. That ninth rep on the last Phenom Press, I mean, I just wanted to get one more in. I never quit without you know, giving it my all. You can throw it away, throw it away. You don't have to go heavy. Um, he said, you know, we could have done the clean, he said we could have done power cleans with, you know, 225 pounds, but, you know, we did it with the bar. And that was, I mean, at the end of the workout, it was still exhausting. And he said that, you know, um, that it's not always about the weight, it's about how you can track the muscle. But technically, it's, if you understand, it's not one of those things where we're designed to try to move a tremendous amount of weight or to come in and show me, hey, look how heavy I can bench today or look how heavy I can. It's another part of the training that becomes polish and refinement work, all right? Now, you get this, you know, you'll see as you, get, as you, as you go and you become more and more neurologically aware, you'll see mechanically how these things do apply. I mean, when you go through it and you do all of that and you contract hard and you know, you do, you hit it hard, as hard as me and Kai did, you know, that, I mean, it's a workout. I mean, I would have never expected, you know, to get a burn from clean and pressing the bar. And so Brandon Graham joins the exclusive club of young bodybuilders who have re-evaluated their own training and bodybuilding philosophy after having spent time with Kai Green. Brandon and Jason Myers from Redemption have become Facebook friends since this video shoot and have been comparing notes about their experiences. If, if you guys said, hey, Kai's doing this again next week, you wanna go do it with him? I might have to think about it for a minute, but I think I, think I would end up I think I would end up taking the offer again. Who will be next? The next Train With Kai essay contest begins soon. Do you have what it takes to train with Kai? Check the Muscle Meds website for details. One, two, three, come on! You can also get instant notifications about all my video projects by subscribing to my YouTube page or becoming a Facebook friend. This Kai Green instructional training series is brought to you by Muscle Meds.